Guys, look at this beautiful uh, <coughs> thing. They have to build no, stone by stone. It's a room, beautiful room that we call the Temple of the Sun. This is built in over the natural formation. These people took advantage of this rock to build this beautiful thing. My friends, in winter solstice, the Uga astronomer have to be here for a long time in order to watch the movement of the sun. On June 21st, when the sun coming up from that mountain, point to the mountain over there, now it's very cloudy, you know, coming up and passing through that window over there, inside of that tree, you're going to find a rock, a very, very carefully carved rock making one of the animals shape on the top. My friends, by illuminated by the sun, I have to show you this one. What happened on June 21st, 7, 15, 7, 20 in the morning? This kind of phenomena, the real sunrise is working in this place, not by the sun gate. Look, can you see this photo? Mm -hmm. Look at this photo, guys. This kind of phenomena you're gonna find on winter solstice when the sun coming up, passing through. Look at this one, guys. It's so beautiful. Can you see? But this kind of thing happens once a year. On summer solstice, the sun has to move from the northeast to the southeast. Can you see the sun gate right mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. We were this morning. Mm -hmm. On December 22nd, the sun coming up and passing through the other window, not the same window. My friends, this kind of phenomena have to be, have to see twice a year, on winter and summer solstice. Those Incas astronomers have to predict the time in order to know everything about plantation. Come in here, guys. Take a picture, guys, before the other people come to this place. Picture time, guys, pictures. <laughs> Okay, guys, now mm -hmm. this. This is the, the, the royal tomb named by Mr. Binga. My friends, inside you see there's a really nice uh, work made of stone by stone, fit stone by stone, the peck stone for holding glittering objects to decorate this room. Mr. Bingham called the royal tomb. You have to know Mr. Bingham didn't find any, any mummies inside of this place. Why he called it that? Because he thought that the, all the mummies have to be placed inside the niches. However, a few years ago, anthropologists and archaeologists studying, excavating this place, found underground different instruments. Perhaps those instruments belonged to the Inca high priest. They used to make different ceremonies inside of this place. They used as an altar over there. Look at this, it's a rock. They cut the rock, making three stages. You see three stages, three levels that represent the holy place. My friend, when you go inside of this place, you have to go with faith because you got one of the sacred places in that time. Not only this, look at this one. You see the shock lines on the walls. This is made up by the archaeologists to track the movement if in case coming earthquake. If those walls fell down, easy for them to restore, taking the same uh, rocks or stone. Look, between those rocks, you can find, you see, fit rock by rock, making as an hourglass shape. My friends, the Incas didn't know the hourglass. Why well, they have to do like that? Only for decoration, my friends. Okay? Let's go up there, guys.